Hey you guys, what's going on? Richard here and I'm not back with another TF2 commentary and today I will be taking you guys through the process of manually updating your SFM to obtain the new maps, models, materials, and particles from the latest TF2 update. So if you're like a so if you're an SFM or like myself, this is gonna be really helpful with obtaining the new maps, models, materials, and whatnot from the invasion update or the upcoming Halloween update if you're looking to do posters, movies, or anything SFM related with the brand new models is going to really help you get them in there and allow you to move them around and do what you wish with them. So you're going to need three programs for this. It's going to be pretty simple. It's just a few basic steps which hopefully I will be able to teach you today in these next few minutes. And the three programs we're going to need is TF2, SFM, and GCF Scape, which I will link down in the description below. SFM, you're obviously already probably going to have, and TF2. I mean, TF2 is the best game. I mean, how could you not have that? But anyway, GCF Scape is going to help us extract the folders, or excuse me, files from TF2 into SFM. Now, before we get to the video, <laughs> you've probably been looking at this background here. This is a drawing of my spy set done by Who Howard, who is an absolutely amazing artist. This guy, it's insane how how talented he is of how fast he was able to come up with this. Because he, he showed me like a general few sketches like a day before, and the next day he's like, boom, I'm done. I'm just like, what? No way. And it's just like, it's absolutely insane. He's an amazing artist. He's done artwork for Spiky Mikey. All for logic and rapid I'll go link his profile down in the description below excuse me not profile but website so you can go check out his amazing drawings and maybe request one yourself but anyway let's jump into the video so what we're gonna first want to open up is GCF scape so let's just open that up now we're gonna want to open up four windows for this so we can extract all the files at once you can extract all the files individually from each directory but that that take a little bit of time and it'd be nicer to make things a bit easier so we're gonna open up four of these folders or excuse me windows and we're gonna want to go to in the first window go to file open and we're gonna start from the very beginning so go to your main drive whatever drive you use which is my Seagate 2 terabyte a which is my main drive and then you want to go to your program files or programs x86 depending on what you're running 62 or 34 bit and you want to go to steam you want to go to steam apps you want to go to common go to tf2 and then go to the tf folder then scroll down and you will be seeing the vpk files so the first thing we're going to want to select is the tf2 underscore misc dir in the second window we're going to want to go to open and GCF Scape saves where you were last were while you're browsing files, so you don't have to go through that process again, which is nice. So next what we want to do is we want to find TF2 Sound Misc DIR. Next in the third window, we're gonna want to scroll down and find TF2 Sound VO English. And then finally in the last window, we're gonna want to go all the way down and find TF2 Textures DIR. So we're going to want to extract four folders with all the files in the TF2 in the or in the first window and we're going to hold down control click. We're going to go to maps, materials, models and particles and then we're going to want to right click after we have selected these four folders, go to extract and then go to your main here I'm going to start all the way from the beginning here. So we're going to want to go to your main whichever your hard drive is, like I said before, my Seagate 2 terabyte A drive. Then we're gonna go to Program Files and you're gonna wanna find Steam, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, and then you're gonna go down to Source Filmmaker, go to Game, scroll down and select TF. Now you don't have to go into it, all you have to do is click on the folder itself and then just press OK. And it'll begin extracting all of the files in these four folders. And while that process is happening, let's extract the other three as well. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. And GCF Scape saves your location. So you just wanna select TF, just click on it, and press OK, and it will start extracting the sound files. Then we're gonna do the same in the third window. Just click on TF2, press OK. And then we're gonna do the same for the final file which is going to be our textures and then we're going to select tf2 press ok and then it is going to take a little bit of time because you are extracting all those files 
um, mostly all the brand new ones, and it's it's a pretty big process. It's gonna take a little while, nothing like hour long worthy. Probably maybe at most maybe like five minutes. So go grab a cup of tea or or whatever you want to drink, or just go do something for a little while. This is gonna lag up your computer a bit. At least it does on mine. I don't know it. It doesn't really affect it that much, but it's not like enough that you couldn't run a simple game. So if you want to go play Minesweeper for a few minutes, that'll, that's still def to pass the time, then go for it. But until then, I will see you guys in a few seconds after this finishes loading. Alright, so GCF Scape has finished extracting all the files that we need into SFM. So now, congratulations, your SFM is completely updated with mostly all the new files. And I say mostly because I've been having an issue where it hasn't really actually been extracting the new maps. So I'll be also showing you guys how to extract maps from TF2 into SFM. Now you may be saying, oh, I just dragged them in, duh. Actually, it's not as easy as that since there's HDR lighting involved and your map's gonna look fucked up if if it's if you don't import it correctly. So we can close out all these windows. As you can see, it says done in all of them and there's no errors or anything like that. So all we gotta do is just close out of these and you're gonna actually not require any program to extract the maps themselves. All you're gonna need to do is go to your TF folder and... Uh, your actually we're gonna want to open up two tf folders or just even windows let's, let's just get another window all right let's go to uh, let's go to bin oh no whoops daisy let's go okay so we're gonna have one two folders here we're gonna want to go to t uh team fortress 2 and tf then we're gonna go to just team fortress and bin so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to find the map we want to get so let's go with uh, let's go with let's go with two for it. So let let's uh, whoops, I've I've dragged in a few maps here. It's just gonna it's gonna throw me off a little bit. Um, let's see here. Um, what do I, what do I want to bring in here? Let's go with let's go with buyer. So we're gonna we're gonna copy buyer. We're just gonna copy it and we're gonna throw it right into our bin. You're gonna be like, wait, what what are we doing here? But uh, just just keep watching. Don't worry. I got I know this. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna want to throw. Uh, our map into here and now before we actually do it anything to it look at the file size so it's going to be 1670 so what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to hold down shift on your keyboard and right click oh we got to unselect that shift and right click into the white area or just what you call it white space then you're going to want to go to open command window here now it's going to bring up a command prompt so what we're going to want to type in is bsp zip space dash repack and now this is going to be so you have to type in what the map is so it's going to be arena underscore buyer and then dot bsp now we're going to type enter it's going to be repacking the file and there we go it is done and the file has been repacked and now if you look at the file size is now 53378 so now then how this is where you can go to your custom or not custom whoops this is not my uh source filmmaker folder and go to game so you want to go to uh, source filmmaker user mod and go to maps then you can drag arena buyer into I since I already have it in here you can drag it in there and now you can properly use it in SFM and you won't have any HDR lighting issues or any problems like that so now if we just boot up SFM real quick we can see that all the new models that we have imported will be there along with the new particles new maps and everything anything else that you brought in via GCF scape it's a very simple process it can be a bit daunting at first being like what do I do I don't even know what I drag in but hopefully with this video I taught you guys how to bring in and or excuse me import all the new models materials um, maps and particles into SFM so I hope you guys enjoyed this SFM tutorial with many more to come and this is retro signing off